All right, so this is Night at the Gates of Hell. It's a pretty new game. I do have to play it with keyboard and mouse. Figured this is a good starting game because it uh, it reminds me of a puppet combo game. Can beat it in one stream, which is why we have another game ready for after this. Unless I somehow get really stuck in this game, but I don't think so. Hopefully not. Okay, let's just jump in. Yeah, I'm a veteran at this stuff now. It's not going to scare me. The first gate is opened. Let the feast begin. Too obvious. Too obvious of a jump scare. I'm ready for it. Where is she? She told me to meet her out here. Last time I let some bitch pick the location. How could anyone get the mood out here? I'll see what I think about the filter. I'm pretty sure we can remove it. I don't know. It's That's pretty heavy. That's a pretty heavy filter. Um, let's keep it capped at 60. PlayStation. That does not look like a PlayStation to me. That's kind of... Oh, hell no. Hammer effect. That might make it too clean. What do you guys think? Keep it on or off? This does make it a little bit more like... Creepy and hard to see. Yeah, it's too clean with it on. This is the one that's no filter. And then this is VHS PlayStation 70s. You know what, let's just keep it on the default of PlayStation. They shouldn't give me options. Wonder why the church is lit up like that. Where it must have some kind of dumb service. Number one horror game month fan. That's pretty hardcore. Thank you for the sub gift. Synonymous. Is that intentional? Thank you again, Anonymous. If you want to be anonymous, make sure you leave your name blank in the checkout. Otherwise, you can put a name in there. Wait, I'm back where I started. Okay. The shirts I commissioned from Fiverr, two different artists, two people that had experience doing like metal cover albums and stuff, you know, nothing crazy, but I like their style. Oh. 
Hello. Ha ha, I can't believe I scared you. Don't be ridiculous. Of course you didn't scare me. Not even a little bit? Nope. Not even a little bit. After all, how can you expect a man such as myself? Oh, thank you, collectioner. To be afraid of someone like you, a woman. God, you have such a way with words. Come over here. Thank you, horror fan. <laughs> what? Okay. Whoa, are you serious? Where's the condom? Oh, uh, did you want me to use one? Nobody else has ever had a problem. Do I look that like I want to be mother to you? No protection, no action. Okay, I think I have one in the car. I'll be right back. Oh, Is there no. anything I can get your highness while I'm gone? You can get lost if you don't come back with a condom on your dinghy. What's this? A bottle, okay. Oh, God. Maybe they won't get me. They, cause you, people would be expecting a jump scare here, right? She's gonna be dead when I come back. That's what it is. I don't think there's a sprint. Thanks, Yogs. I appreciate it. Hungry zombies. Love how he notices that as I'm getting surrounded by zombies. God damn, this is loud. I'm gonna have to turn it down just a tad after this. See, the thing that really drew me to this game is it uses slow, like, Fulci zombies, Romero-style zombies. See, look how slow they are. It's so rare to find uh, zombie games like that anymore. Got that uh, Argento lighting going on here. Okay, we definitely gotta turn this down just a bit. Just a bit. Hey, thanks, Mecca. Most of the notes in a language I don't understand, but at the bottom in English is written, confess to me what the hell's going on here. Sister Mary, your transgressions have not been ignored. Bring the symbol of your repentance to me and confess your sins to be forgiven and be allowed to stay on these grounds. Okay.
see what this is first. Oh, now we're protected. Nothing can scare us now. I'm assuming I have to bring this to him. This is the thing about me playing PC games. I'm like, right, I'm like right up on this screen. I'm right up in it. Whereas if I'm playing on my TV, it's further away. It seemed to have happened almost overnight. We couldn't believe what we were seeing. Everyone thought it was some elaborate hoax, but we were wrong. <laughs> Gotta have the volume up to get it and make it effective. You're hearing what I'm hearing. Alright. We beat it. On to the next game. Flashlight, does that say? No, it's glitched. Maybe that's a Silent Hill flashlight. The love of my life? She belongs to the Magus now? What is she... Are we the same person? He did not take... This has to be a different person. Keep an eye out for knives and ammo boxes. Knives are automatically used when needed. Don't get caught by them with that one. How do I save my game? That's always my first question with these kind of games. How do I save? Does it autosave? Good. Give me less people, or uh, less, less things to open. Dead people in here. Do I believe them? Man. Okay. I guess we just go in. How do I equip my weapon? Uh... 
Maybe it comes out when I'm in combat. Good, it's locked. It can stay locked. Got the old man had some weird security systems. Guess I could use. Guess I could see the use now. I have to figure out how to turn the power on to override it. Did they just turn me around? God! The sound effects are so much louder than everything else in this game. It says it automatically uses the knife, right? How do I deal with this? Okay, well there's the, uh, the knife. Did automatically use it. Can't open that door. Oh boy. Can't move. Crouch. Maybe I'm not supposed to be able to get in there. It's gotta be in here. Well, control, shift, nothing... Oh, okay. I hit spacebar, maybe that closed the door. These sound effects are... Loud. What's this phone? For sure, I can't crouch, right? is very confusing. I don't know if I'm missing a mechanic with being able to crouch or do something, anything. Q key, shoot. Check ammo, space. Crouch with C. Okay, well that's it.
tried every button that Crouch would be on except for C. You won't believe it. Those people who we keep seeing go into 704 must be part of some kind of cult. I've been hearing chanting coming from the walls at night. It creeps me out. They talk about the gates of hell and makes me worry for her two children. Imagine living with a mother who's crazy like that. This whole ordeal has me so on edge, I'm starting to see things. One night I woke up and I thought I saw someone. I know who isn't getting their lease renewed in January. Sound effects? Gotta come down just a tad. I'll adjust it if needed. But like, it's... Everything is ear piercing. Hopefully that's a little better. Wow, they really hide bullets. I gotta be on the lookout for those. It's not a door. What did I do when I was in there? What did I get? I got a key, small key, tag on it says stairwell. Take the sledgehammer. Oh, come on. It is pitch black when I turn that off, and I was moving. How do I... They want me to turn this off and then turn around? No way, they don't. Maybe there's a flashlight? I think it's in my controls. Oh, F key? Oh, no. Oh, come on now. Anybody know how you save in this game? I feel safe until they give me the gun. Just keep the gun away from me, because I know the second I get the gun, that's when I'm in trouble. Wasted my knife before. Maybe that was the tutorial. Maybe you couldn't pass that zombie without actually knifing it. S for save? No, no, definitely not S. I don't know. Maybe it auto saves. There hasn't been a jump scare in a while. I'm worried. Come on. 
Whoever's reading this, please listen. You have to shoot them in the head. Try F5 and F9 is load. This can also stop them. Don't find out the hard way. Press the QT to holster your weapon or equip your gun. Uh, no. I need to see my keyboard. Can't move while aiming. Okay, now that I have some protection, I can turn the power back on and take the elevator down. Easy. So this is aiming. Wow, so that's kind of neat. To check your ammo, you actually need to, like, open the barrel. Cool. Are you a zombie? Yes, it is. Didn't want to waste my ammo, but I don't think I'd be able to get through that. Aldrich. You ain't gonna come to life, right? The checkpoints? Okay, good, thank you. That's all I wanna know. I don't remember which was the way with the light. Excuse you. I think it's this way. We're gonna keep that on. Good lord, this place is falling apart. I better be extra careful. Clear shot on him, come on. Let's head this way. What? Hello? I have no bullets? Oh my goodness. He ain't coming out that door. Uh oh. I don't have any revolver. How is that possible? What is that? Wait, wait, reload, right? Did I just dump? I mean, I guess they were empty. Just check my... Okay. I despawned them. No. Oh man, that was close. I don't know why he sounds like that. Oh, and there's another one. Okay, let's check here first. Let's 
The only thing I don't like is that you get it unequipped to get things. We need milk, we need eggs, we need bread. Henry and Ned are doing so well lately. Uh, they are learning our ways and are excited for what awaits them. They love keeping secrets. They'll do anything to protect their mommy. I think that's why he had that sound applied to him. I think he was supposed to be on fire. But wasn't. Got a key. Oh, the poor raven. Key for what? Older looking key, I bet it goes to a door within this apartment. Good deduction. If you guys notice any ammo that I obviously missed, you can call it out. I, f I feel like I've been pretty thorough, though. Well, good thing I checked that. That looks like ammo, but I can't. Can't pick it up. Oh, it's a toy car, maybe? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, little Billy got me. Come on, hurry! They wouldn't even give me a chance to try and shoot him. I came in here to waste two knives. Are you serious? There's nothing else in here? Wow. This guy, no. This, okay, there we go. This wall looks very weak. I saw a hammer on the building somewhere. Yeah, I tried to pick it up long ago. I saw that. Oh my god, it looks too useful. doors. <sighs> yeah, soft locking would be a potential thing. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Oh, I don't like this. Ready. <laughs> no. Well, that's an awesome reference to Zombie Two, my favorite horror movie. The eye scene. He just took my eye out. They should have reduced my vision. There's a scene in Zombie, Fulci, Lucio Fulci's Zombie, where a girl gets her eye pulled into a splinter from a door that breaks just like that. Three bullets.
Maybe they won't notice me. Oh! Okay. Oh my god. Take one out, save my bullets for the other one. Hello? Can't open it. Yeah, go in the kitchen. Oh, could I not pick up the bolts before because I have my gun out? Crowbar. Ceiling vent in the other room. What? Okay. Can I take the healing herb? Oh, come on. I'm- I could go back. Ceiling- oh. Can I go back? No, I can't. The sound effects, yeah, the, the volume control is all over the place, but I think they mostly do it on purpose to try and scare the hell out of you. Did he turn his head around? One thing I do appreciate about this game is how much they, they do make it feel like an, like an old 80s flick horror movie. Okay, can I open the door now? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of how you can't interact when your gun is out. But you just have to get used to it. I feel like something's gonna bust through a wall on this or something. Okay, not that. Is there a sub goal? Yes. Resident Evil 4 first playthrough. 666 subs. We got all month. I don't know what the janitor's room is. What are we at? I actually have my subs hidden right now. I actually can't see. I'll check it later. We're not close to it right now, though. I'll tell you that. Yep, yeah, first playthrough. I've avoided all gameplay of Resident Evil 4. So I actually have no idea what to expect in that game. Uh, full transparency, I tried playing that game on GameCube, like, I don't know, what is it, 20 years ago now? And I shut the game off and never went back to it after the first chainsaw encounter. But that's all I remember. I don't even remember what leads up to that. All I remember is getting a door busted down with a chainsaw and I never went back to the game.
Sub counter on screen. Yeah, in future streams. Just didn't have time to prepare that. I feel like I gotta put my gun away. This isn't survival hard. No, I was in the camp of being scared shitless because back then I didn't play horror games. I don't know what they expect here. I have not, I have not played Resident Evil 5 or 6 either. But it's pretty much my last chance. If I don't play 4 this year, then I'm probably going to end up playing the remake instead next year. But I know a lot of people recommend the original. But knowing me, I'd, I'd probably... Once a remake is out, I usually go with the remake. I don't, I don't know what to do here. So this is like the last chance for the OG Resident Evil 4. Oh, board. Sometimes it's just so simple. We can get that ammo. Little demon kids. Okay, no, I had my gun away before and I still can't pick this up. I'm way more interested in Resident Evil 6 than 5. I haven't accomplished what I need to do here. They don't have like a synopsis thing, do they? You can use it to probably open something that needs a little more motivation. Something new to crowbar on the roof. I haven't seen a prompt for the crowbar at all yet. I used the crowbar to pry open the duct vent. Why would I come across this again? Just to turn the power on? Maybe. I don't see anything else to do here. Are this open? Game is a little finicky sometimes with like using items on things, so I'm just double checking. There. <laughs> Gotta get in here for the burping. Zone. Here. working okay I'm a little lost this be a good time to spring a jump scare on me guard is down don't expect anything wandering aimlessly under Need a hammer still? I used the hammer to break open a wall. Right now, they said something about finding the janitor's room. It says a crowbar to use on something... Press something open. I can't interact with anything. I 
I basically crawled through the air duct, fell down here, killed this zombie, walked out here, turned on the power, and that's it. No, I haven't. I've been checking every door. There's no prompts. You don't select an item from the inventory. It kind of like just auto shows you that you can use it on something. So if I can use it on something, it would pop up here. Anniversaries count towards single subs. You mean if you were to do that, if it would count as an actual sub, you mean? It should. Yeah, I'm very lost right now. If any of you actually have an idea of where I need to go, you can tell me. Because at this point, I think I've checked everything. Dead ends. Well, I don't think it'll count as six subs. It'll count as one, if that's what you mean, Ember. refrigerator. The only idea I have is the elevator doors which seem to not work and that red box where the power is. I feel like I've checked it all. This? What about... No, I tried looking at the door. You mean here, right? Or no, that's a stove. Where's the laundry machine? Laundry machine by the bookcase? I don't even know where that is. I tried. There's no targeting reticle for the. <laughs> Jeez. There's no targeting reticle for the box by the door. I get stuck on these doors all the time. Nope. I don't see a washing machine in here. What's she mean that right there? Good idea, but no. <sighs> Glad I'm not the only one that's confused by this. I think this is getting to the point where it's bad game design. I'm not sure what they want us to do here. It's not very obvious. I've looked everywhere. Can't target this.
Did it say something about ceiling fan? It said... I, I originally used it to pry open the ceiling vent. I have to turn the lights out for 705. See, that's the part that confused me, because originally... When I came down from the, the, the vent, they had me place the board so that I can come to the power room. That's oh, the other way. Um, and then I, I was like, okay, what's the point of coming over here with the plank? The only thing I can do is turn on the power. So I turned on the power, but apparently you need to turn it off. Weird. Okay, so 705 is right there. I tried opening 705 before, I thought. Maybe I haven't gone in here when the power's off. Oh, this room. Oh, maybe. No. Oh no, I don't like this. Uh, thank you for the heads up on that, by the way. I don't think I would have found that out anytime soon. Seems that I have an interesting partnership with Hilda. Now that she has given me a key to the entire building, I should have no shortage of playthings to have access to. wonder who I should bring my playroom first. The mother in 704 seems to be the perfect choice. It's a shame that everyone is staying indoors due to the reports coming out of the countryside. If one that blows over, I can resume my work. You ain't gonna take that axe? Come on now. Oh, maybe I needed the crouch to pick up the bullets by the bed. Unless it's just glitched and I couldn't pick it up. <laughs> okay. Now that I have the key to the schematics, I should turn... <sighs> I didn't mean to do that. Otherwise, the elevator will be useless. Okay, turn the power on, I guess they said. Okay, they are definitely going to spring something on me when I'm leaving here. The headline reads, Fourth Disappearance in as many uh, weeks strikes fear into the hearts of the city. Alright, I'm ready. Mannequin jump scare, here we go. Oh, I missed! Told you. Veteran at these games. I know when they're going to do the jump scares. Oh, goodness. I wasted the knife, though. I have no more knives. So that means if they get me next time, they get me. I missed bullets in the freezer area. Did, uh, they had two bullets in there? Oh, you're right, thank you. So the game apparently checkpoints. There's no actual manual saving. I mean, I hope. That's apparently how this game works. 
If there is a manual save and I, I haven't been able to do it, then I'm going to be really disappointed if I die. We are 100% on that, right? There is no manual save and it's just checkpointing? Oh my god, what the fuck? I'm dead? Well, we're about to find out. Oh. Oh. Okay, it was just a bad dream. is back on. What am I trying to do now that the power is back on? Take the stairs? I don't even remember anymore. Uh, it's covered in gore, but I think this key goes to one of the apartments in the hallway. The elevator. Let's see if it's on. so we can examine stuff. See, that's the danger is you, if you want to examine things or see if you can examine things, you got to put your weapon away. So they catch you off guard. Oh, we're back here. Shortcut. I died before or what? Free knife. I backed up and it triggered the jump scare? Was that meant to happen? Oh my god, okay. There he is. He was apparently behind me. Ah, uh, he keeps- he gets me from behind. I was gonna say, he looks like he has head armor on. Had to try it though. Come on, die quicker. Reload! I'm out of bolt. No. Okay, we're good, we're good. Come on! You gotta be kidding me. Oh, I had a knife, alright. Oh, I can get it. Oh, that was probably a different knife. Boy, they're relentless sometimes in this.
His office should be behind that blue door. Now that I have the key, I should be able to get in and look for the schematics. Come on, how did that miss? Oh my goodness. Oh, he's tall. Look at the stacks of VHS. See, this is how the game gets you, because they know- Oh, look, the NES. Nice little easter egg. That's how they get you, because they know that you're going to be putting away your weapon to see if you can click on stuff. And then they get you. Okay, water break. Wait, what? There's gotta be something in here. Yeah, all the PVM is so expensive. Because this brings me back out into the hallway. There's something here I couldn't access. I ain't going back in there. Hmm. Paper in the room. Thank you. Totally the one thing I didn't see. I didn't realize that I was still looking for schematics. Um, okay. Repair the elevator. I'm pretty handy with this, so I should be able to figure out how to get it working. This is when you gotta be on edge. Whenever the game has you backtrack through areas that you feel like you've taken care of everything, that's when they spring it on you. I want you to feel like you're safe. Okay, just making sure that, like, it wouldn't... Uh, can I get back to the elevator from here? Is there a plank still? Hey, what's up, Tickle? Uh, okay. Gotta go back through this way. Well, that was quick. Alright. I was ready. I was ready. Can it be? Has she come back to me? I can't leave her now, I must go get her. No! Just go! Oh no. He's gotta go check on his dead, rotting zombie girlfriend, of course. Typical horror films. Where was she again? I think. <laughs> I 
Ah, oh, okay, I had a knife. That one caught me off guard because I wasn't ready for that door. Oh, come on, that's not fair. They were lining up for me. Okay, at least I know what to expect here now. Scare score for this game. Um, it's like a 7 out of 10. It's not like... The thing with this game is, a lot of the jump scares are a little predictable. The ones that aren't, though, they get you. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, come on. Leave her. <sighs> That's not the elevator. Oh, I can still take out my gun while carrying her? Must be strong. Am I gonna be able to walk across this plank if I shoot this guy on the plank? Wait until he's across. Well... Okay, we're good. Yeah, she's quite the looker, that's for sure. I could see why he's saving her. You gonna give me a double jump scare? I'm so glad to be out of that hallway. I knew it. Yeah, I knew it. I was ready. They actually needed to make that louder. Their sound balance is a little off with the jump scares. I need to get my head straight. Things are different now. Think. Think. Before the airwaves went out, it was advised to leave populated cities. There's a coastal town to the east. Perhaps others were able to fight these creatures off in open space. It's worth a try. Wait, that was the end of that There's story? There's no reason for me to stay here anymore. I think we're on a different character now. Voice acting isn't bad. You definitely missed the start of the stream. <laughs> Couldn't say the same about the first chapter. The same Help character, us. okay. It so he looks survived. like there's some people hiding in that shack. Maybe they will know something I don't. Full front flip. Hello, nice people. Oh, Jesus. Okay, hello. Thought that was them for a second. Hey, man. Thanks for bailing us out. I don't have a gun, but I'll try my best. Shh, I'm in a cutscene. I was here on vacation, right before the shit hit the fan. One minute. Then the next looking up, and seeing some smelly motherfucker won my inside and the outside. 
I found that mother and a creepy son over there. They were almost done for. <laughs> they must be stumbled upon this place with the captain and Skeeter. Hey, thanks, games a lot. Good to see you. Thanks for the reset. Should have killed the zombies. I don't think they're I a threat. I don't know the city very well, but but I know I heard what sounded like a shotgun coming from the dance school. Just take a left once you leave and follow the road. You'll see the bill. A shotgun might be better than that old revolver you got there. I kind of like the revolver. But it seems like the undead are being controlled Yeah, your, your kid is all creepy. By a greater force. They perhaps aren't as mindless as they seem. <laughs> that is pure speculation on my part, though. I just know I'm so glad you found us. My baby boy Charles and I were starting to lose hope. Oh, goodness. Stop staring at my mommy's big, incredible boobies. I'm her you little boy, you chat too well. not you. I'm her little cuddle bug, her little man, a cutie patootie. That's right, just a normal kid. Matter of fact, don't stare at me either, you ugly, ugly man. Go away. You're the one to speak. Steal your knife? No, uh, I ain't carrying a weapon. I got no interest in these days. I promised my dearest Martha I'd never touch a gun again. Personally, I don't care if I live or die. I joined up with these folks to see if I could help. This zombie boy. But I just froze up when things got dicey. It's like ASMR zombies. I just want to go out a hero serving the greater good. Hey, thank you, Dan. Thanks for picking up a shirt. Something that was a sound like me about a long time ago. I want to die for a reason, you know? Dan Vong with the double dip. Thank you, Dan. Hope you like him. Something that'd make Martha proud. Ahoy there! Thanks for helping us out. Myself and these fine folk were going to try. Merch is Syracuse. No, I don't I don't bring merch to conventions. <laughs> I love how the zombies are louder than the voice acting. Gasoline. Gasoline, engine hose. I can barely hear you. Speak up. And if you get the boat up and running, you can come with us, friend. Can the zombies come with us too? They're pretty much part of the gang at this point. Look at them. See, they ain't a threat. We got McFlip here, and then we got the freaking chorus. Can't kill him. Oh, man, I almost fell in that water. Thank you, Times. Ah. What, a zombie baby now or something? Thanks, Anonymous. Appreciate it. If you want your names to show up on those purchases, just make sure to check out that there's a thing you fill out on Teespring that you put your name in there. 
with a message if you want it. Creepy fucking bell. Yeah, you said it. There's something strange about the headmistress Emmanuel. Ever since she joined that new church, she has been short with the students. In fact, there are a number of people in this village who have been acting peculiarly. I can't put my finger on it, but something's happening right under our noses. Where is the shotgun? Was I Oh, there's the shotgun. Thank you. I feel like I need- I should keep this equipped. So yeah, that is something that they do sometimes, Dan, because they ship from different shipment centers. It's not one facility that produces this stuff, they actually produce shirts in different shipment centers. Luckily though, their shipping is, uh, pretty- pretty reasonable. But thank you, I appreciate that. You bought all of them? You picked up the girls' shirts too, or you mean just the t-shirts? T-shirts and sweaters? Uh-oh. Well, come on now, that ain't cool. I thought that shit went through all- Oh, come on! Who's next? Oh, I appreciate that. Keep you warm, keep you cool during the summer. Is it a sizing difference? It's, um, it's a different, like... You would definitely probably want to try and cancel it if you can. It's gonna be a different... It's not just the size, it's like actually the the make of the shirt. I made that mistake once as well. At Nintendo World, I accidentally bought a women's Yoshi shirt. It's just too... Unless you like really tight, like, short sleeves on your t-shirts. <laughs> tight shirts in general. <laughs> Should I kill him? I got enough ammo, right? No, I don't. Wow. I thought I had way more ammo than that. Good thing I checked. Oh, come on now, rapid fire. You should know. It's a lifeline reference. Seems like my ammo reset at the start of the chapter. Oh, you're you might be right actually. Yeah, because I had a lot of ammo. Maybe 
Maybe I gotta kill this guy. We're just lapping around in circles together. Does he have a knife in his head? He's got a hammer. He's faster than I thought. <laughs> I can't back away. Hold on. What? Maybe I can't kill him? supposed to be there yet. Fear something terrible is about to overtake our town. Father, it feels strange to say, but his eyes bring one word to my mind. Death. It doesn't seem to be the same. I fear the devil has gotten to him. Take my time. I don't have a lot of ammo. Uh, wow, really? They don't let you cancel it? Because it's not like they're printing it immediately. I would just do a quick Google search if just look up how to cancel a Teespring order. There's gotta be a way. If not, then yeah, I guess going up a size. But yeah, you definitely want to go up a size with a or two. Or email them, yeah. Cause they print in batches, so it's not gonna print for probably a few days. Thanks, Jerby. I guess there's nothing in here. Just making sure. High, High smile. smile. They really like those noose jump scares, huh? Is that a knife I can take? Five out of five. Shortcut. Check here first. It's a neat little, like, not open world, but it's a neat little open ended level design. What is that? Another zombie? Yeah, definitely look into it. I would hate for you to get a size that you wouldn't be able to use. Yeah, this is the first game. The game's supposed to take about four hours. We'll see. I got stuck pretty heavily at the start of the game, so that definitely is going to slow me down.
game is uh, very loud. <laughs> I recommend headphones for the stream. Suffer like I am. You ain't sleeping in this stream, I'll tell you that much. Ah, oh, man. Always let the player try. Dr. Stiglitz had a lock installed on some of the doors. I think it has to do with the corpses that had been going missing. Being the strange bird that he is, he doesn't want anyone to know the code. He even went as far as to rip the paper the code was written on into, and no one half is kept in his pocket, but who knows where the other half could be. Okay, he's gone. I would have had him jump scare from that basket. Let's read that one more time. Nope, one and done. Can't read it again. I wasted two shots. That guy, his head was hanging backwards, so I had to, like, aim really high to hit the tip of it. It's an interesting little detail. lately, which is good. Looks like it's half of a code. The Konami code. Oh, a knife. I do like how they reward you for having a keen eye in this. Especially playing with the filter. I, that's why I recommend that you play with the filter, because if you turn the filter off, I think it's too clear to see what you're doing in this. The filter adds a lot more spookiness to it. If I attempted to play this game seven years ago, this would have been so hard for me to play. This would have scared the... If I tried playing this when I was younger, I wouldn't have been able to do it. There's no way. How do we... I'm just making sure that they wouldn't give me the option. They, somebody said they kept it in its pocket, right? that note said. Where's the other half? Okay, we got a key. I forgot about that. Does music make a game more or less scary? I think effective use of music sporadically is the best way in a horror game. This game has music, it's just very low droning music that's really hard to hear. 
I think instead of the loud jump scare sound effects, they should add more suspenseful music. Looks like it's half of a code. Nice. Prepare for the jump scare. And this is why Chilla's art games... We're gonna actually be playing a Chilla's art game after this. As long as this game doesn't take me exceptionally long to finish. Which it hopefully shouldn't. But like Night Delivery Convenience Store, those games are masterful because they know exactly when to and when not to do jump scares. This game is very heavy handed with the jump scares. But I knew that kind of going in that it was going to be one of these kind of games based on the Steam reviews that I glanced at. I figured it would just be a fun game for the first night. Might as well have a game that attempts jump scares than not. Wow, what the heck? We found this. We did not find the stash. That's troll right there. That's evil. They had me thinking I just found like 20 shotgun bullets. Get it over with. I better take out the shotgun. Are we on ammo? You know what? I don't think they're gonna wake up. I think it's gonna give you false fear. And then they're gonna get you after. No, they're not gonna wake up. Yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna walk walk right out. See? Okay, what is that? Come on! Crotch zombie. Some of these things are so hard to hit. Guess you can't shoot him in his crotch, you gotta shoot him in the head. Technically, should have should have counted the crotch for that guy. Okay, I got the fuse. Guess we're done there. Thankfully. trouble remembering okay there's our zombie friends this looks inviting a silent zombie what is this heresy everyone lined up for sure. <laughs> hey, 
Okay, thank you, Black Magic. Thank you very much for the reset. I mean, I saw something waiting there, but okay. It lives what under the floor. What the hell was that? <sighs> Made me black out there for a while. I need to get out of this house and get back on track. The sooner we leave this city, the better. Glad to know that that was a cutscene, at least. So loud, yep. Welcome to this game. Something rustling around under the floor. It keeps waking the whole family up at night. The little one is particularly scared, it seems. I have to admit, I've been pretty on edge, too. I'm sure it's just a rodent, but sometimes I feel silly for writing this down, even. Sometimes I see someone looking up at me through the floorboards. I'll have to get some mouse traps in the market tomorrow and put an end to this. That feels like a grudge reference. You know it's going to pop up from the floorboards. I knew it, I was ready for it too, but they got me. I was like, as soon as I turn around, there's gonna be a jump scare, but it still got me. This thing is moving me. Where did I get a key for what? Hopefully I didn't miss something. It feels really easy to miss something here. One of the previous areas. Okay, glad you figured it out. Yeah, I was worried that people would buy the the wrong shirt by mistake, but at least we know there's an easy way to cancel it. How am I supposed to deal with that? He can get under the door, too. He's so fast. You gotta shoot his head, which is hanging between his legs. I can't do it. There we go. Holy moly.
Okay. Now yeah, let me check how much ammo I have. No. Hey, thank you, APOC. Thank you for that resub. Last one. Should have been better prepared. <sighs> Caught me off guard. Okay, we dodged him. Oh, we got him. Thank you for picking up the shirt. I'm assuming that was you, Lich, buying the different one. Ooh, there's a knife. you hide gasoline? <laughs> you gonna come out here so I can shoot you? Not another one of these Resident Evil 2 remake situations. I can't move when I'm aiming. Wow, he had almost no head. It was just a brain. Oh my goodness. Okay. Meet me upstairs at 9. My mom should be asleep and I can sneak out. She's really mad when she found out about us. She wouldn't stop talking about how satanic our relationship is. Ever since dad died, she just clings to her old crucifix like it's the only thing she has. She needs to get over it, who knows. Maybe being dead isn't all that bad. See, this is when you gotta be ready for another jump scare. Right now, I'm, I'm getting a sense for this game. I told you, I told you. Because they, 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 ex like, they think the player thinks they're safe because you've been through this. Uh-oh. Glad you like a match here. Okay, we got the gasoline and the fuse. And they really hide items in this. Now we just need whatever the last item was. Oops, that's my mistake. Yeah, there's a nice variety of zombies. Nice variety of zombies in this. Holy crap, he's fast. They 
always get me somehow. Jump scare. Okay. Still have a key for one of the rooms in the morgue. Why would they not take that out of my inventory? Did I miss something in there? Did I get a key item from the morgue? Maybe that's what I gotta go back to. Which I honestly don't remember where the morgue was. Oh, that's the guy that stalks me and I can't kill him, I think. I think. Let's see if... Okay, no, we can't talk to anybody. I can kill that one. I kind of need to get down that street. Was this the morgue? I'm going to venture that I'm missing something in here, because I still have a key. I don't remember getting something in here. Right, I came... I don't, I don't remember the exact sequence I did in here. I don't think I need a weapon in here anymore, right? We open this door with the code. This door? This is everywhere in the morgue. Hmm. Hmm. 
I still have a key that isn't leaving my inventory. Which tells me that there's still something here I haven't tried opening. Okay, now I'm officially lost. I have a key that says a key to one of the rooms in the morgue, so maybe it just doesn't leave the inventory. I got the fuse. I got a... wait, it's a wrinkled up note that has one half of the code. But I used the code to get into the door already. Uh, and I got the gas. So I don't know what the other thing is, I don't remember. If anybody knows what the area, like, if it's an area that I've been to already, and left, definitely let me know. Because I'm not going back to the morgue, so if it's the morgue, I don't plan on going back in there. It's a hose. Okay. Oh, wait, have I? I don't think I've been down here. It has to be this way. chance for a water break before the jump scares come again. That was the dollhouse. This was jump scare hanging guy. Or not? Oh wait, is this? Man, I'm so lost. There's gotta be something I'm missing in the morgue, right? Oh wait, this guy killed me last time. Maybe it's something here. one for the road. Okay, I was I was thinking maybe I could pick up his hammer in his head. Okay. Why do I feel like I'm going to be chased here? Why would they have a back alley like that? going to jump out and chase me. I can feel it. Should I turn off my flashlight? Hell no. Plus one shell. Wasn't loud enough. Also, I didn't walk directly in front. Their jump scares in this are very hit or miss, but man, I could appreciate how many they attempt. Oh, <laughs> 
came out of nowhere. Lovely bride, though. I like how I used a knife to get a knife. It's like they knew you were going to use the knife there. That's a really bad placement for a jump scare because I'm looking down to get the shotgun shells and it was out of my peripheral view. Good attempt though, good attempt. That one made me jump a couple centimeters. Did I still not get what I need? There's gotta be a hose here somewhere. Oh, plank. I've learned my lesson. Mama locked them all in the basement. Her and Papa blocked the staircase because the basement might not hold them. So now we live upstairs, it's impossible to tell how many days have passed. Because the sky is blood red constantly. Mama and Papa only cry and read the Bible now. But they say Satan is coming for our souls. though. Expertly backed myself into that corner. Get ready for it. Okay, alright. Not gonna place another jump scare in that bookshelf or uh, the wardrobe. Yeah, thank you, Brody. I always work hard to make sure that my layout and background is nice for October. Hmm. You know, the more I play this, the more I appreciate the whole, like, you gotta put your weapons away to do things. It adds a very interesting mechanic to this game in terms of readiness and making sure that you're not, like, caught off guard. Because it would make sense. Okay, you want to interact with items? Put your weapon away. And then face the repercussions when you gotta draw it back out. Actually, no. God, you know they're gonna jump out of one of these freezers. Hold on, I'm gonna bait it first. If they coded this to trigger when you pick this up. Yeah. 
The hose has to be down here, by the way. There it is. Does not look like a hose to me. Okay, now prepare yourselves. You know how things go. Once you've picked up an item in a space that you think is safe. I'm ready for you. Okay. I'm still... I still feel like I'm about to get chased outside. Uh... I'm locked in? Oh no. Well, there was a head behind me. <sighs> I couldn't pull up my gun in time. Okay, we lost a few knives. And now we're free. Okay, time to book it back to the friends. I knew it. I told you guys that I was there was going to be some kind of sequence out here in the barns. You know how I knew? Because behind the barn was this alleyway here. Remember? I said, why is this here? Because you were supposed to run. Run, 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 run. Oh my god, that thing is fast. There's really no sprint in this game? How am I supposed to turn around and shoot that thing? Perfect. They didn't know they were dealing with someone that used to play first-person shooters back in the day. Why is it still... what you need. That's all we need to leave this hellhole. I'll have this It looks to me we are about right here. That's a completely different ocean there, Cap. Oh. Uh, Anything smoke? I cannot believe this. I thought you were a captain. Why haven't you the faintest idea of where we are? Okay. Since we're all friends now, can I lay down some truth? Fact is, I'm just a cabin boy, okay? The furthest my knowledge goes with directions is that the sun rises in the west and sets in the east. Rises in the east and sets in the west, Cap. Fuck! This is ridiculous. 
We escaped those flesh-eating monstrosities to become stranded out at sea without any food. When it comes down to it, I vote cooking to Kevin Boy first. Calm down, everyone. I'm sure once this fog clears up, we can get our bearings and eventually come across some land. In the meantime, let's all take a rest. We've been on our feet for a long time. You are quite right. We should come, cook Charles. Some it is your dinner time. Yes, mommy. Now, weird I anyway. Oh Jesus! I think it's important that we uh, we need to keep our guard because I have a bad feeling that we I love. Shut the hell up back there! I love how oh, he's damn. distracted by that, but not Thank the zombies you. from earlier. <clears throat> As I was saying. I just think we should be on our toes. <laughs> Wait, I am in control? Oh, I am, okay. You stay away from my mommy, or there'll be problems. Big problems. I really don't trust this kid. I'll make sure you end up just like Daddy did. Okie dokie. I can't believe we made it out of that hellish village. Once I put my Charles to sleep, please come back and see me. I'd like to express to you how grateful I am. Sounds good. Something ain't sitting right with me. And I'm not talking about Captain Clueless over there. Something came in this fog. I don't think we're alone out here. I'm going to keep my eyes open. Nothing good ever happens on foggy nights. I miss my wife when we were dating after I got home from the war. She was the only thing I had going for me. I feel like this guy's gonna be the first to get killed. Because He's too normal. I had the audacity to get drafted. She uprooted her whole life and came with me though. Now I realize how much she held me together. I'm not sure what I believe in, but if I wasn't afraid of possibly going to hell. I throw myself in that murky water without a second thought. She was perfect. I have to do what I can to make sure we go to the same place. I also definitely appreciate the voice acting in these cutscenes. Two days without her is enough. I couldn't stand eternity. I'm sorry for the depressing sentiments, but it was either that or another war story. Thank you for that reason. Pretty small boat. I wonder Everyone what she's gonna do for me. me huh? Where's the kid gonna go to sleep? Honestly, I didn't think we were getting out of that shack. So, I lied about knowing of an island and how to get there. Oh no. I just didn't want everyone else to die hopeless. I don't know what side Moss Grow is on, but I do know one thing. I have hope we'll make it out of this. I trust you, you look. Davy Jones' frickin' locker! What was that? We just got titanic Someone check the motor around back! If something hit it, then we're sitting ducks out here! <laughs> it's music. Oh no. Oh, more bullets. Where's the kid? He fell over! <laughs> well, 
I guess we ain't getting lucky tonight. I knew this boat was too small. It wasn't big enough. Oh, jeez. Go sleeping with the fishes. Everyone, get in. Oh, there he is. Stan, come on. That thing will swallow us whole. We've got no other choice. Actually, we do. You all get going. What are you talking about? Now uh, he's gonna go down with I'll the ship. With the ship and keep his attention. You all just roll like hell and don't look back. Soldier, that's suicide. I'll catch up. Go. I bet you he's gonna come back at the end of the game and save us. Come get me, you rotten piece of shit! Okay, never mind. Where's your mommy? M mommy. My mommy is okay, right? Stan, he... he saved our lives. It should have been me. That man is a hero. We can't let his death be in vain. I can't believe this. That wasn't no regular shark. Now where the fuck are we? I have no clue where this game's gonna go now. They obviously want us to go there, but we're gonna look for a hidden item. Okay, never mind, it's an invisible wall. Oh man. Oh, the jump scares here are gonna be so plentiful. I really like the change in environment, though. You never get bored of seeing the same stuff in this game, that's for sure. Looks like they maybe reset my ammo? No. Well, maybe they did. I'm very low on ammo, though. Keep an eye out. Restock. I hope that, like, buzzing noise is intentional by this game. It's like a little bit of feedback. I think it's intentional, though. Wonder what's in there. Hello? Is anyone out there? What? Oh my god. I thought I was alone here. Look, 
I don't have a lot of time left. I'll explain all this later. Okay. But the keys to the gate and my coffin should be inside of the mausoleum next door. Excuse me? Please find them and get me out of this thing. I'll tell you whatever you want to know about what we're facing when you get me out of here. Susie, isn't that the girlfriend from the beginning of the game? Honestly, I think the scariest zombies are the completely silent ones. Please let me take that crowbar. Shovel? Oh boy, okay. Yeah, I should have known better. <laughs> Just keep running. Save that ammo. I should have been ready for that too, I'm slacking. Missing these obvious attempts at jump scares. Okay, we got the key for Susie. Wasn't actually her, right? Seven bolts. I think the sound is part of the 70s filter. It's going to show you, by the way, what it looks like without a filter on. Oh, okay. What? I didn't hit quit, did I?
the fuck? It's the start of the game. Right? What is what's going on here? The first gate is opened. What? Let the feast begin. I should have never turned the filter off. Well, here's what the game looks like without a filter. Obviously. Maybe I hit quit by mistake? I'm gonna go to levels, but it's gonna suck if I have to do that all over again. They're gonna make me start at the very beginning. Man. This piece of junk is about to go sleeping with the fishes! Everyone, get it! That sucks. Stan, come on! That thing will swallow That's why this game needs manual got no saving. Other choice. Actually, we do. I can't, even, I can't even skip this. What are you talking about? I stay with the ship and keep its attention. You all just Man. roll like hell and don't look back. That's a big oversight. Soldier. That's suicide. How can you not skip this? I'll catch up. Go! Better without the filter. Come get me, you rotten piece of shit! <sighs> All I did was turn off the filter. No, well, at least I didn't lose that much progress. That could have been way worse. I could have did that like towards the end of the level. Also, we're still not anywhere near the end of this, which is crazy. Now we're even further back. Let's see the PlayStation filter. I hit back, but you know what I think would happen? I think when I hit back, it double clicked and hit quit. You should not have quit on that same spot. Oh, whatever, at least I can kind of like speed run through this. I just gotta remember where the ammo is. I mean, really, I didn't lose Hello? much progress. It's okay. Does anyone? Oh my! Look, but the police. I'll tell when you get me out of here. Hopefully, I remember where all the jump scares are. <laughs> Okay, we're pretty much back to where I was, so not a big deal. Cool. 
See, and now I also know... Did I get the key? I also know not to open that coffin. So I saved the bullet from the reload. Hey, Silent Hill. Beware, demons beyond this point. Turn back now. May God save your soul. Well, thanks for the warning. Oh, you know it's coming. This is way too long. Too much silence. Any second now. In three, two, one. Okay, alright. They're building tension for once. I actually think this game could be a lot scarier if they did pull back on the jump scares and use them way more sporadically. The demons are requiring more sacrifices each day. We are running out of animals to offer them. We must think of a way to escape this curse, or face what we must do when there are no more to offer. Ever since they arrived to our island, there has been an imbalance. I don't know what god they worship, but it it isn't one that I care to know. They are obsessed with death. Am I seeing things? Am I the only one that saw that? I like blinked and thought I saw something. Okay, you know there's going to be a jump scare now. This an empty cabin with nothing? Get ready for it. It's coming. Living 8008 has purchased two sound packs. Oh boy. Have mercy on me, Jay Living. Use them wisely. You know, you gotta catch me off guard. Maybe don't use them tonight. Catch me off guard. Well, it depends on what you get. We must all leave this place. Under night, we have packed everything that we can and hope that we can escape what is to come. Yeah, I made sound cards, but I make it- I, I'm incentivizing people not to buy a lot of them, because then it'll be, you know, they won't be as uh, impactful. But essentially, I added a bunch of sounds from, like, Dead by Daylight and other shit, because I've never played Dead by Daylight before, so I wouldn't recognize the sounds. And then there's some creepy shit in there. I knew it was coming. Just wasn't expecting there. About time you woke up. After you never came back, we went looking for you, and those rotting landlubbers jumped us. No, they're not cheap on purpose, because I don't want people buying a bunch of them, because then the sound cards will get overplayed. The point is that they're supposed to be used sporadically. I if they were if they were Skeeter, cheap, people would use them free. too much, and then they wouldn't have any effects. But they're probably around here somewhere. 
Uh, notice your cell door was so, about to fall off. It's meant to be something special used occasionally throughout the month. Nothing, you know, not spammed or anything like that. Um, same thing with the new stream loots cards, because there aren't a lot of them, and I didn't want them spammed. So, it's kind of like, you know, just something peppered in throughout the month, essentially. Let me tell you, I'm glad you were out, because they played with your butthole real good. But the thing is, with, uh, what? With the, with the regular packs, you Should have a chance of getting sound packs from those packs. Time. They're hard to get, but there is a chance. I think she living really appreciate it. I'm just kidding. Calm down. Try and find the others and a key to get me out of here. There's got to be a way out of this place. Oh, and watch out for the guards. They've got guns, but I don't think they can hear anything. They must have maggots in the air canals or something. Just don't let them see you. Good luck. Never let us down before. Well, except for when you left us and got your ship busted up. I wonder if this counts as a new level. It probably does, because it looks like a whole new area. Oh, come on, you're not going to let me play with my keyboard on my lap? Damn, I put new batteries in this thing, too. Here, I'm trying to get all comfortable. Looks like a journal. There's some words and a picture of some kind of book. It reads, whoever finds this, you might be our last hope. Mixed with the eBay cards? No. No. I wanted to make it because... I wanted to make it so that if people wanted horror cards, they get horror cards. Uh, if the book can open the gates, then surely it must also detail a way to close them. You must wrench the book from his grasp. J Living? Pulling, wow, that was fast. Living 8008 brings us one step closer to playing with D. Pulling the first D card. So the way that card works, there's actually three of them. Once all three are pulled, J Living already pulled one. Once all three are pulled, then I will stream D this month. Do this and find a way to sever the ties between our world and hell itself. Okay, I guess I know what I need to do. My keyboard doesn't like being on my lap. That's unfortunate. Yeah. I'm here trying to get all comfortable. Alright, I guess that works. A gun. Or maybe I do. Let me just check my keyboard. No, they def. Why would they? Why would they not take my gun? Yeah, they took my gun. Big red button. I bet you the red the red button is gonna be like the way out of here. Should have just pressed it all along. Kinda reminds me of my old streaming chair. Living eight thousand and eight has purchased two sound packs. Oh boy, Jay Living is stocking up for the month, boy. Thank you, Jay Living.
I will warn you, this is probably not a good game to use it in, because this game is so jump-scary as it is, that eventually you start to become, like, immune to all these crazy-ass sounds. If I were you, I'd save it for games that'll catch me off guard. So let me make sure that my stream loot's... Okay, yeah, my stream loot's volume is... maxed out. Am I supposed to give you something? Zero Dine Ninety has purchased one horror pack. Hey, thank you, Zero Dine. I'm the key. see a key anywhere? Maybe in here? Okay, I'm just walking in circles. I don't see a key. Oh. This is a different room. With a naked prisoner. I could hear you and your friends talking through the vents. I don't have such an attitude and I won't free you. Zero Dine 90 has purchased three horror packs. Find the key. Zero Dine going back in. Thanks a lot, Zero Dine. Hopefully you're getting some good stuff. I've had a rough time. I could use some luck. I can be useful. Dig this. This camera's set up all over the place. If you see one, be sure to stay out of its light. You oh, can't no. shoot them either. Bulletproof, obviously. Oh, also, there are doors all around this place that can only be opened by finding the panel that controls it. Get out of this block. You'll have to find the office and hit the switch. Thanks, naked guy. I should have been paying closer attention to what he was telling me. Stay out of the cameras. Oh, he told me to use the switch. Oh, yeah, you're right. I was like half paying attention. That's trippy looking. Unsure if I should be walking around with my gun out or not. Wow. 
five shotgun shells. Okay, I should maybe take their warning and uh, equip my shotgun. Oh, you know there's gonna be something around these corners. Would you miss a naked guy? Oh, that opens X, right? Pretty chill area. Stealth kill. <laughs> Let it pass in the cutscene. That's the trick. Let it sweep over me in the cutscene. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Come on, are you kidding me? Game Dust 23 has purchased two hearts. Hey, thanks, Game Dust. Oh, shoot. Uh, the baby mummy. Oh, no. They're unleashing the gates of hell. It's not very good. Gotta stop tripping these alarms. Oh look, it's the puzzle from Tormented Souls.
know if you would have kept all the hammers and stuff you've been finding. Wouldn't be an issue. Got a hammer. That's that seems really easy to miss. That's why you gotta search thoroughly in this game, especially if you're playing with the filter on. Oh, the good thing is if you trigger one alarm, it can never trigger again, it seems. Alright, you know the rule. You trigger a new event, get ready for the jump scare. What did I just get? Ammunition. Oh, maybe that's... Well, that says ammunition. Imagine if I accidentally quit the game before, right before I got to the prison cell. Yeah, that's not a cool feature. Oh, are they actually gonna give me bullets? Oh man, I feel like there's a boss battle coming or something. Either that or they know that you're gonna, you're light on bullets at this point. Oh my god. I thought I saw somebody coming. Thankfully I had a knife. Okay, no, there's something about to go down here. This is crazy. It is an ammo room after all, but still. You know something's gonna happen in a horror game when you get this much ammo. I've explored everywhere here.
That's a little confusing. It's a lot of backtracking if I have to go all the way back here. Oh, cutscene? Oh, he's feeding on... On... Okay. My mama. He's feeding on his dead mother? I couldn't protect her. I, I can't get her voice out of my head. Who is that? She keeps calling to me. She wants me to join her. She smells rotten now. They rescued the mother from the shark. She got eaten whole. Please, please. Oh my god. I knew they'd be coming from both sides. The jump scare screwed my aim up. Got him in the crotch head. Now I see why we got all this ammo. So we reload here while it's safe. Reload, reload. We're really gonna free this kid? Come on now. something here like that five shotgun bolts Okay, get ready. Did you know that's a big walk back with nothing happening? Still nothing happening, okay. Alright, kid. You came back for me? Yep. I thought only mommy cared. There's some open vents behind me. I was too scared to go in. I'll hide there until you're ready to leave. I'll be at the gate in the courtyard when we're ready to leave. You might want to oh, go I'm in ready. there too and see where they go. Mister, thank you. Oh, he's actually nice. 
Yeah, I'm getting out of here now. Thank you very much. Face only a mother could love. A dead mother. <laughs> ah, okay, I got him. He was about ready to fire that bullet. Ramping up the scares. That was a pretty good one. Let's reload. Good with them headshots, though. It's a note. It seems to be from one of the cult goons. Before they completely turned, it reads, I love her. Even as my heart rots and the voices of hell call to me, I will hide her away so that they can't find her. And I hope that after I am consumed by death, I will still have a place for her within my heart. And come and visit her sweet, rancid corpse whenever I desire. How romantic. Where are we supposed to be going right now? Surgery room? Oh, that room. Where the heck was that? Somewhere in here, I think, right? Where was that? It was where the security lights were. Okay, so we get out of here. Oh, man, how do I get back there? It was uh, back here, right? Yeah, back here. Which means prepare for more monsters because we're treading old ground again. Oh! <laughs> See what I mean? I called it and they still got me. I was too fast. Slacking, Mr. Headshot. So did he. Damn, I didn't think he was gonna do anything. Gave him the benefit of the doubt. Skeeter! Oh, he's alright. Thank you, soldier. It looks like they were about to do some kind of mumbo jumbo on me. I swiped a key while they were bringing me in here. Smart. You take him. He looks real important. Has a strange symbol on it. Say you found others too. We'll meet up with them and 
We'll wait for you. These undead lunkheads want hell. Go give it to them. He gave me a key? Oh, I gotta take it from him. See, good thing I checked my inventory because I thought he honestly gave it to me. It's a key with a letter A engraved on it. Okay. Do any of you remember seeing... Hey, thanks, Panda. Do any of you remember seeing a door with an A on it? You gotta be kidding me. That looks really important. Okay, that's the- remember where this is. This. That's the exit. <laughs> oh my fucking god, that scared the shit out of me. I should have been ready for that. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, we gotta go. Hey, we found the skeleton key. Wow! You actually came through! He's the last one, right? Knew you could do it. Everybody else is dead. I'm going to lay low. Let's all meet at that big gate in the courtyard. Once you've got everyone free, we'll blow the sardine stand. What about the mannequin? Let me just check this door. Unless the other guy is still... Okay. Okay! Jesus. <laughs> I should have known a boss battle would happen eventually. ammo on the ground before they don't let me get it anymore. Okay, I was, I was curious to see if you can go through the rock. It's so hard to hit his heads. Am 
I even supposed to shoot the little ones? Maybe the big one. I... I think it's the little heads? If I have infinite lives, I might be better off just, like, walking right up on him, guaranteeing the hit, even if I get killed. Unless it's respawning his heads. Can't really tell. How did that not hit that? This is strictly PCS. Can anybody tell if the heads are respawning? Come on, that's some bullshit. I can't tell if I'm doing this the right way. You would assume I hit the small head, right? Even though it doesn't seem to give much feedback. You would imagine one shot and they'd be dead. He's... He's gone? Did I kill him? It's a good thing I killed him because- oh, I had 54 bullets for my shotgun. I don't think I was in danger of, uh, <laughs> running out of ammo. That was a little bit of a lame boss fight, not gonna lie. I just wish I would have understood what it was asking a little bit sooner. Like, I knew I had to shoot the heads, but it, the feedback wasn't good enough to know that I was doing it right. It's too late, you know. Plot twist time. The gates can no longer be shut. Now they are open all around the world. The only thing left to do is to watch as this world rots and withers away. My work here is done. Now I receive my reward. <laughs> Perfect time. Thank you, Dillingers. Thank you for the eight months. Well, at least he died happy. I think this book is what caused all this to happen. Maybe it can also stop this madness. <laughs> You know, get ready. Oh, Jesus Christ. He was not there a second ago. That's crazy. I've died.
Oh, he shot me. Wow. Alright, alright. Getting sloppy here. Maybe I'm better off with this. I thought that was a- Oh, come on. I thought that was a zombie coming behind me, but it was me opening the door. Uh, this checkpoint sucks. Gun zombies are not cool. Oh, that's right. It at least saves who I kill. Just the checkpoint itself is bad. See him standing there. Well, where are we going? They said the courtyard. Yeah, they've got guns. Looks like this place is deserted. I'll say nice. it's quieter than a mute I like the jump cut. pussy on Christmas morning. <laughs> hey now, there's a kid around. The naked You're guy is still with naked, us. swinging that damn schlong around, and you wanna tell me to keep the kid in mind? Also, I'm just gonna come out and say it. Oh, even sure that's a kid? <laughs> come on. We have more important things on our plate. Let's look around. We know they're coming for us. Why do I feel we like this kid this is book. the mastermind Maybe behind we can this whole game? Reverse whatever has happened. I feel like the kid is gonna be like the final boss. I'm calling it now. This isn't a bad place to try and defend. I should look around for some more firearms and pass them out to the others. Gonna need all the help I can get. This is another, like, call out to the end of Zombie 2. Which this game was definitely influenced by. I think it's written in the Steam description. Because at the end of Zombie 2, they have, like, a big shootout at a barn. So if this church that we're at burns down at the end, probably a reference. Even though it wasn't a church they were at in the movie. But it is neat, because this game is like... Now in Zombie, the, the zombies don't get guns, but one of the games, I mean one of the movies this definitely draws inspiration from is my actual favorite zombie movie ever. So that's kind of neat.
At well, least covering himself. Looking for some more guns? My guess would be inside the church. Say, what do you think this place is? Looks like it used to be some kind of mission. Someone to get locals. this man some shorts. You think this was where that cult first started? Zombie 2. We see a full chain. I'd be careful looking around if I were you. No, I'm not gonna find some pants. <laughs> it's like you read my mind. It'll just slow me down. Guy's going in guns blazing. Alright, I figured maybe there'd be something out here. It's pretty obvious we're probably going to be in a shootout out here. Everyone's being so glum. We didn't get through everything we did. Just to die in this hellhole. This captain might abandon his ship, but he sure as hell ain't going to abandon his crew. Hear what the kid has to say. Kid in quotations. I want to fight like everyone else. Don't treat me like a kid. Give me a gun. No. I'll spray brains all over these walls. A zombie on the street. It's probably. I think it's on Shutter. I know it's on Shutter. Uh, other streaming services. I don't know. Keyboard's being finicky. Oh boy, we gave him a gun. Oh no! Oh my god. I mean, he did say he'd spray brains all over the walls, so I guess there goes that theory of him being the master of mine behind the whole game. Jesus Christ. Yeah, guess he's not the villain. Begin final stand. Oh, that's true. I wonder if that was optional or not. Oh, this is this music is straight out of zombie. I love it. Okay, let's gather ammo. Oh, 
Oh shit, the ambush. Oh no, I'm out of. I was like, man, this is pretty easy. I think you dropped your There's more coming. We need to fall back. Missed opportunity. Should have bit the other head. I wonder if I could have saved him. I think you dropped your brain! Okay, it's getting crazy. Oh, I can't fall back any further. Stuck here. Shot taste good. Bullseye. That buckshot taste good. Bullseye. Thank you for the backup. Appreciate it. Hold tight, Martha. I'm. Coming for you. Hello? Hopefully that zombie didn't glitch out. We can't out. hold any longer. Fall back to the church. I don't know if the barrels. Work. Oh no. Well, sailor, it's been a hell of a ride. I'd rather die beside. Now, let's blast some brains. I think you dropped your brain. soundtrack for this part. It's so accurate to like 80s Italians on the part. Uh, hello? I ain't even walking. Oh my god. Jesus is crazy. Come get me, you smelly ass maggot fuckers! Gotta burn. I guarantee. I told you. I called it. There's nowhere else to run. They're gonna bust through the windows. Oh god, what? He's back from the dead? What's going on here? The portal? I told you he'd be back. What the hell? He's like, you he went the. What? Okay. Not gonna argue.
Is that a real background? Yep. Though I did say I'd catch up with you. I told you he'd be back. Now follow me if you don't want to be dead. That's an interesting way to end it. Not the best ending, but hey. That's really how they end it? <laughs> okay. It's a weird... I don't, I'm not a fan of the ending. Wait, hold on. There might be a stinger, though. Let's see. I'm kind of curious what happened if the kid was alive. I don't think they would have let the game progress unless I gave him a gun. Wait. Okay, I was gonna say. Uh-oh. What? I think you need to read that book and see if there's anything about getting back home. Home? Cause we sure as hell ain't in Kansas anymore. Cue doom music. Very nice. That was a fun game. What did they count as levels in this? Prepare the final stand. Yeah. I was gonna say, because when, when my game, like, quit out, and I was only, like, on the island, I'm like, wow, I still got three more to go. I had a feeling that the last ones would be a little fast. Um, I will say that the beginning of this game is the strongest part. Like, the... Everything up through the village was excellent. This is where it starts getting a little crazy. The, the island was still pretty cool, but once it got into here with the zombies with the guns, it started going downhill a little bit. Uh, in terms of, like, it gets very far-fetched, but it's accurate to these styles of movies that it's trying to impersonate. Like, there are zombies with guns. If you look at Day of the Dead, you know, that, that, that I'm sure it's probably, like, a reference to something like that. I'm not going to do these tonight, because I'm, I'm going to get started on the next game. But it's cool to see that there's like two little extras. Maybe we'll throw these in another night. I'll see how long they are too. Um, but yeah, that was really fun.